Hi everybody and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Tunes from the Shop with Skip. I'm uh, flying solo today. The dancer has the day off. Actually, uh, she and I have been outside running around a bunch today, which is why uh, this video is getting done a bit later than uh, usual. So a big hi everybody from Abigail and uh, thanks as always for all of your uh, really gracious comments about uh, Abby and her dancing and uh, the videos in, in general. Uh, I do get quite a few questions, actually, that uh, are sent to me as emails, and I try to answer them without getting uh, too uh, boring in the explanations. One of the questions I've gotten repeatedly is on this flute, what are these silver things and what are they for? Um, they are keys. When I press down on one of the keys, you can see there's a, a hole underneath it also. Um, our music, Western music, our scales are divided up into whole steps and half steps between notes. And if you think of a piano keyboard, there's a whole mess of white keys and a few black keys. Um, these silver keys are basically the black keys on a piano. They're for playing half steps between notes. So if I was to play an E note and then press this little gizmo here, that goes up a half step to an F note. Going up another half step would be F sharp. And so on. We basically use 12 notes. In Western music, we use 12 notes because we use a, we use a half, to, uh, half step scale. So we use a lot of uh, half tones, half steps in, in a lot of our different scales. In Eastern music, one of the reasons Eastern music sounds so exotic to a lot of us is because a, a, lot, of that, a lot of those forms use uh, quarter step scales. So they have a lot more kind of micro steps if you want to think about it in the music, and that's why it has this uh, very, very different sound from, uh, from what we are used to in the Western world. And some of us think it's really cool, and some people think it's very unnerving. So that's why they make chocolate and vanilla. So today, I hope that makes uh, a little sense to you without getting too deep into the woods. Uh, today's request goes out to a very good friend of mine named Oliver Clem. Uh, if any of you have visited my recent website, that was built by my friend Oliver Clem. Uh, Oliver came to me about um, eight or nine years ago. I had played in a concert in Basel, a combined concert with the Swiss and Ancient Mariners at the uh, Clara Schulhus in Basel, near Klaraplatz. And uh, I played a small uh, segment during the concert on uh, Irish flute. And Oliver had been a fan of Irish flute music for a long time. In fact, he had heard me play quite a bit uh, over the years, going back to the famous 1982 concert in Kaiser Ouch. And he approached me at the end of the concert and said, OK, that's it. Uh, I want one of those flutes, and I want you to teach me how to play it. And uh, he's been taking lessons with me since then and has turned himself into a very, very solid uh, traditional Irish flute player. And uh, this is a set of tunes that he has requested. It comes off uh, a recording I did uh, quite a few years ago called Farewell New England Shores. I've already played a couple of sets um, off that, including the, uh, the, the title tune, the Roy Watchers tune. Uh, this is a set of three jigs. Uh, the first is a tune called Cat in the Hopper. The second is a tune that was written by an old friend of mine named Mike Bell, and it's called uh, Manapasset. And the third tune is one uh, that's called a traditional Irish tune called The Humors of Innistimon. There's lots of humors of this and that and the other uh, in traditional Irish music. This one happens to be um, Humors of Innistimon. So these first two tunes, you're going to see a lot going on with these uh, little, little silver gizmos. Hopefully I hit the right one at the right time. So here we go.
cat in the hopper, Matta Bassett, and Humors of Inna Simon. I forgot the last tune for a second. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the set, Oliver. I hope you liked the tunes. Thank you for all the work. Oliver is absolutely my right-hand man over here as far as uh, promoting all of my concerts and making all my posters and updating the website and everything else. I'd be lost without the guy. So, Oliver, thanks a lot. Thumbs up to you. Uh, everybody else, stay healthy, stay well, stay socially, uh, you know what I said it enough times by now. So, see you tomorrow, everybody. Have a good day. Cheers. <laughs>